So you guys have been asking for this for quite a long time and like six, seven months. And the last time I did one of these videos for this line was before the Parfum was even released. So we've technically had three other releases from this line already since I did my last line breakdown. But today we're going to be exploring the Azaro Wanted line and letting you guys know just like what my top three fragrances are, getting you a little bit of information about every release from the line, all of that good stuff. So Azaro Wanted line, let's talk about it. Without further ado, let's get it. <music> What's good, my great smelling dudes? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Randy, aka Fragrance Dude. Thank you guys so much for joining me for today's video where we're gonna be going and doing a line breakdown. Something that I haven't done since my YSLY line breakdown from a year and a half ago. I think I'm gonna get back into doing this once every like week or two where I explore at least the lines that I own. Uh, letting you guys know a little bit of a breakdown since there is like a few releases every year from that same line. With that said, we're going to go through and do one that you guys have been begging me to do for quite a long time. And a lot of people on TikTok have been asking me to do it as well. So I might have to do this into a short as well. With that said, we're talking about the Azaro Wanted line, which was brought out by the original Wanted. This is the only small bottle I have from the line. Um, and the only bottle that I don't have with me today is Wanted EDP, which I did give to my nephew. Uh, and I'll let you guys know why in a second. There is Wanted Free Ride um, that was in the same bottle as Wanted EDP. And I have never tried that and it's discontinued like six years ago. So I don't have any affiliation with that. So we are gonna be talking about the seven fragrances that are active in the line currently right now. Uh, with that said, the first one, the one that started it all. This is Azaro Wanted EDP. And as you can tell, I don't wear it very much. This was one of the first fragrances that I had. I actually had the larger one where I did wear through the whole thing. It was a big, I was a big fan of it way back when. But when you become a fragrance reviewer and you start, and I actually had a conversation on my live about this the other day with somebody, is that this is a good fragrance when you have a starter collection of like 20 bottles and you wanted to have it. But once you start getting into full collecting and you start experiencing higher end things, Things like this are nice to wear like once a year when you're like going to a bookstore or going to Giant Eagle to get some groceries or something. But outside of that, I mean, this fragrance is really built around a fresh, warm and spicy ginger citrus mixture that really has a nice little juniper underneath. It has a little bit of the amber wood that you know from the rest of the line that comes into the dry down that kind of was brought back in the most wanted. Uh, but it really revolves around three notes and that is, well, three things, citrus, ginger, and juniper. And it's fresh, it's clean, has a little bit of a pop. It definitely has a little bit of the bubblegum nature to it, but it's actually kind of nice. It's just synthetic and generic nowadays. And so it's not something that I would necessarily recommend unless you are a starter collection. Um, it's basically, it's a nice fragrance and it's not gonna, people will compliment you when you wear it. It's just, they're, you're gonna get better compliments with other things that are around the same price. Uh, that's the original Azara Wanted. Uh, going into the next one. This one is hated on, and I mean shit on by everybody. It, it, it does look like toilet water. It is Zaro's Wanted Tonic. I just keep this, even though it doesn't even look good in the rest of the collection. I mean, when you put this next to that, it doesn't look good. When you put this next to that, that's the only one that it kind of looks okay towards. But that blue toilet water was such a bad idea. It's like just food coloring. Uh, with that said, it is, I can't get the cap off. It is just a fresh, clean, synthetic lime ginger mix. Uh, that's what the fragrance smells like. It's fresh, clean, it's an easy wear gym scent. And people shit on it, yes. But you can get this for like 25 bucks. It, the lime is honestly, it's nothing like Atelier Pacific Lime or 
uh, Bohemian line by, by Goldfield and Banks, or even the line that you get in Hugo uh, Jeans, which is the same cost as this. So they could have done a better job with the line. With that said, it's fresh, it's clean, it's ginger lime. It's a patchouli-based fragrance for sure that you can smell the patchouli, just not earthy. It's just fresh, clean, generic. So these are in the same kind of realm, while this one is better than this one. They're very easy wear, gym style scents. Um, but then that's where the line stops being boring anymore. That's just my opinion. And I'm pretty sure everybody else agrees with me because I never hear anybody ever mention those two fragrances. While they smell nice, nobody's going to buy them over other fragrances. And we are doing this in the order in which they were released. Now this one was just sadly discontinued, but thankfully I bought three bottles of it and it's still available. If you wanna buy it for 76 bucks on Joma Shop, it is up there with the best in the line. It's my wife's favorite for the fall. It is a Zorro Wanted by Night. That stuff is good. I have, this is my a fourth bottle, so I still have three open, uh, unopened boxes. So that'll last me the rest of my life. Actually, I wear this a lot, so I don't know. It's fr Fruity Woody Cinnamon Balm. Ha oh, man. If you guys want to know, this is what started my being a reviewer. You guys would not see this video right now if it wasn't for this guy. And this guy, I can thank BizAgent, which is one of those survey sites that you just go on and they send you a free item and then you just do a little review for them afterwards. Well, I got a decant of this in YSLYEDT back in 2016, maybe. And it was when they were released and I was just like, I was hooked. It was like 2016, 2017. And man, this, I mean, it was like the offsetting. YSLYEDT was my daytime signature scent. And this one was the fragrance that was my nighttime. I'm sexy, I'm feeling good about myself. The cinnamon in this, I'm, I'm a sucker for cinnamon, always have been. I've been a sucker for amberwood, always have been. And then the fruits and the, the nice mixture of a blend of notes. It's a nice little conglomeration of notes in this. But the fruity, woody cinnamon mixture is just what is the most prominent, especially the cinnamon. Cinnamon is like 50% of this fragrance. It's so sexy. It is a fall and winter based fragrance. But you can wear it during spring and summer nights if it's like 70 degrees or less. It does very well. It's just because of the cinnamon, it's definitely more of a fall fragrance. Azara Wanted by Night lasts about seven hours. Well, I got to tell you, I didn't even tell you about the performance on these because they're like four hours and they're not really anything to write home about. So whatever. Uh, but this one is about... Ooh, there goes the cap. <laughs> uh, it's about seven hours. Well, I'll pick that up later. And just an FYI, do not buy these on eBay because they're one of the only fragrances that you can open up and pour stuff in so you never know what you're getting. Uh, with that said, we're moving in to where this line is just... This is the most popular one in the line by far. It is Zaro's The Most Wanted. The two Macy's in my area in Pittsburgh, uh, the people, the reps there, they said that Azara the Most Wanted has actually outsold Chanel's and Dior's. This is the best selling one at both Macy's in my area. Um, it is the only gourmand in the line, but it's a fresh gourmand, which means that you can wear this during the nights, during the spring and summer as well. And then it is a daytime or nighttime uh, fall and winter scent. This is not going to be work safe, but do what you want to do. Um, it is amberwood toffee, this bourbon vanilla underneath it, which even though it's not in the note breakdown, it is in both this and the parfum. Uh, and then you have this night, nice little green spiciness that you get from the cardamom that brings a nice warmth to the fragrance, but also you get a little bit of freshness there. It is a fresh gourmand. It is one of my favorite, if not my favorite designer fragrance. It is Goodness gracious, is that a good fragrance? It is amazing, amazing, amazing. And it's a sleek jet black bottle, can't beat it. Yeet, I love that stuff, it's so good. Then this was, this came out right whenever I started my channel and I happened to be, my, my Macy's was the first Macy's in the United States to get it. So I ended up reviewing this before anybody else, surprisingly, even people in Europe. I was like, holy crap, 
So that's kind of what started my channel getting some reviewers or some uh, subscribers. Is the Zaro's the most wanted parfum? And you can tell I like the fragrance too. I and unlike other reviewers, when you see their bottles are completely full, I actually do use a lot of my fragrance. The ones that I like and the ones that I tell you I like, I actually like. Um, this is another sweet one. It actually is a perfect um, secondary flanker. This is like a flanker off of a flanker. And they've been doing that now. Most Wanted is almost like its own thing. It's almost like its own separate entity now because the Most Wanted Parfum came out. And while it still has a little bit of this DNA, that sweetness and that bourbon vanilla, this one adds instead of cardamom, it's a nice ginger. People call it grape soda, but I don't get that feeling at all. I, that's just an untrained nose, really. It's the amber wood. It's the bourbon vanilla. It's a sweet winterized fragrance. It is more centered around the bourbon vanilla and ginger than anything. It is a super mass appealing, sweet, youthful fragrance. Definitely try it out. But out of all the ones in the line, this is going to be the most youthful for sure um, because of that heavy sweetness. But I absolutely love it. If you like vanilla, you should definitely give this one a shot. And that one lasts two days on your clothes, about 10 plus hours on your skin. Well, this one is about eight. And now we're going into the one that I don't have a bottle of. I'll just talk on it real quick because it doesn't really do much. Uh, Azaro Wanted EDP. So I took a poll on my channel and about 95% of you guys did not like it. 5% of you guys liked it a lot. I, so, I mean, there's always going to be those that like the fragrances. Great for you guys. And I understand. I know one person specifically really likes it and fights with me about it, but I don't like it. I mean, it doesn't smell bad. It's like, I'm not going to wear the fragrance, but my 10-year-old uh, nephew was like, hey, I'll take it. And he didn't have a fragrance, so now he's wearing that. And he actually, I just sent him a bunch of decants, and he said that he this was his favorite from all of the decants I sent. Uh, with that said... Azaro Wanted EDP, it starts out slightly fresher. It has this, the one part of the fragrance I'm not 100% sure on, because the opening is actually kind of nice. It has a little bit of a freshness, a little bit of a sweetness. It kind of just goes along with that ginger juniper that you get uh, from the original, except for it's more on the juniper. Um, the juniper it almost has like a slight fruitiness, but as you get to the dry down, it goes in waves. It's like, I'm sweet, but I'm earthy. I'm sweet, but I'm earthy. And it never not knows exactly which way it wants to go, which leaves a kind of odd muddle of a fragrance. And so I, I'm not 100% sure about that fragrance. I have not been. I mean, it's still nice. Still smells nice. But they're, it's in the same category as these ones. It's just, it's going to fall short and it's going to get really bad sales after a few years people are going to realize it's just not going to be one that people are going to rebuy after they're done with their fragrance just not one of those fragrances while the rest of the ones i would say the ones that people are going to end up rebuying are these three and the new one the one that i'm about to talk about now uh while this one is the fourth best one in the line so the most wanted most wanted parfum and wanted by night are the top tier of this line this one was just released. This is Azaro, the most wanted eau de toilette intense. So they were going backwards and they, and I understand why they're going backwards because again, they're, they're making the most wanted its own separate line, like its own separate entity and leaving wanted out of it, almost like they're two separate lines. Um, and the eau de toilettes are usually the freshest from the bunch. And so what they were doing is going backwards and making a fresh flanker for the most wanted. When I first tried this, I was like, this doesn't smell like the most wanted at all. They ruined it. The opening of this is almost like this earthy, mossy, slightly boozy opening that has a green minty tone on top of it. That's like a syrupy, synthetic minty tone. And so the opening is like a 7.5. It smells better than any of those other three that I told you about, like the EDP, the tonic, the original. Um, it smells better than any of those in the opening but it's still a pretty average opening and it takes a while to get to the dry down, but man, is this dry down good. It takes that most wanted DNA, that toffee, amber wood, slight van creaminess. It takes that and it makes it super fresh and a little bit green. 
and that's what it is. It is a creamy, fresh dry down, and once you get to 35 to 45 minutes into this fragrance, you'll know how good it is. It's just that opening kind of ruins it a bit, and it takes that score down to like a 7.8 or so, where the fragrance is definitely the fourth one, best one in the line. It's definitely the best fresh one in the line, and it smells very nice, and I'll definitely wear through this bottle over the years. It's just, it, I wish they would have had that dry down come in after like 10 minutes. I, th that opening is nice. It's nice to see that for about five to 10 minutes, but if that dry down would have came in quicker, this would have been the talk of the town for a while. It's a creamy, fresh dry down. It's super good. It, that's what you get on the atomizer is that dry down. And man, is it good. But that is Cesaro's The Wanted Line slash The Most Wanted Line. And I'm just interested to see where they go from here. Um, I want them to kind of get back and I want them to do a uh, conglomeration of Wanted by Night and The Most Wanted. If you layer these together, it's amazing. So if they made like a fruity, spicy cinnamon take on this, I think that they'll have a winner. And I think they should call it like Most Wanted by Night or something like that. Like, I think that would be a great fragrance, like a nice con conglomeration of all their fragrances. But yeah, let me know which one is your favorite from the line if you disagree with me on some of them, if you agree with me. And again, I appreciate you guys taking a look at this lineup. And it's one of my favorite lineups. I mean, half the fragrances are from the lineup at least. And I, again, I'll be back with another one of these in like a week or two. So thank you guys so much. Remember to like, comment, subscribe. Peace out.